Noetix has just unveiled a new service robot called Hobbs W1, and it represents a very different direction in the humanoid robot race. While many companies are chasing running demos, flips, and viral stunts, Hobbs W1 is focused on something far more difficult to get right, real-world human interaction. This robot is designed for professional environments like hotels, offices, shopping malls, hospitals, and public spaces, where communication, comfort, and reliability matter more than speed or strength. At first glance, Hobbs W1 doesn't move like a human. It uses smooth wheel-based mobility instead of legs. But movement isn't the most important part of this robot. The real focus is interaction. Hobbs W1 features a bionic head paired with an interactive screen, designed to feel expressive without crossing into exaggerated realism. Its facial system can blink, smile, raise eyebrows, and subtly react during conversations. When someone speaks, the head tilts slightly, creating the feeling of attention rather than automation. This design choice is intentional. Noetix avoided cartoonish features and also avoided extreme realism. Instead, Hobbs W1 sits carefully between human familiarity and futuristic clarity, reducing discomfort while still feeling present in the room. And that changes how people perceive the robot. Instead of feeling like a machine waiting for commands, Hobbs W1 feels like a service presence. Now, let's talk about physical capability. With 6 degree of freedom dexterous hands and 5 degree of freedom robotic arms. This allows it to gesture naturally, point directions, hand over small items, interact with touchscreens, and assist with light service tasks. Combined with fully autonomous navigation, the robot can move through indoor environments on its own, guide visitors, escort guests, and operate as a mobile receptionist without constant supervision. Quick pause. If you enjoy clear breakdowns of real-world robots that are actually being deployed, make sure to subscribe. This channel focuses on practical AI and robotics, not just hype. What really sets Hobbs W1 apart is how it handles interaction emotionally. The robot uses AI to analyze faces, voices, and tone. If someone appears stressed, the robot softens its expression. If the interaction is positive, its responses become brighter and more engaging. This isn't emotion in the human sense, it's emotional awareness. And that shift is important. Under the hood, the robot runs powerful onboard computing, allowing it to process conversations locally without relying on constant internet connectivity. That's a major advantage for hotels, malls, and public spaces where network reliability can be inconsistent. Studies already show that a significant portion of travelers are comfortable being greeted by robots, and in some cases even prefer it. Robots don't get tired, don't lose patience, and deliver consistent service every time. Of course, human-like robots also raise concerns about the uncanny valley. Noetix seems very aware of this challenge. That's why Hobbs W1 avoids exaggerated realism. Movements are smooth, expressions are controlled, and reactions feel intentional rather than random. Looking at Noetix as a company, Hobbs W1 isn't an isolated project. They previously introduced Noetix Bumi, a bipedal humanoid platform focused more on locomotion and embodied intelligence. Bumi represents the experimental and research side. Hobbs W1 represents the deployable, commercial side. Together, they show Noetix is building toward a full ecosystem of humanoid and service robots, not just one-off demos. The timing also makes sense. The global service robot market is growing rapidly especially in hospitality and public services, where staffing challenges and consistency are becoming critical issues. Hobbs W1 may not dominate social media feeds, but it represents something far more important, robots quietly integrating into everyday human spaces. This isn't about replacing humans. It's about reshaping how service environments operate. Hobbs W1 shows that the future of robotics isn't only about strength or speed. It's about presence, interaction, and trust. If you want to stay ahead of where real AI and robotics are heading, subscribe to RoboFrontier. And let me know in the comments, would you feel comfortable being greeted by a robot like this?